I want to show you the radar here locally. And again, things pretty quiet right now. OK, we've got maybe a shower or two working their way into with and Bland counties from, say, Tazewell and Smith counties. Also have that rain that we were talking about earlier in parts of Franklin County. Now, Boone's Mill got hit with some very, very heavy rain, not more than 25 minutes ago. That cell as has pushed a little farther to the east has weakened. It is holding together enough where it's bringing some light to moderate rain towards folks, say, Burnt Chimney Road, uh, Brooks Mill Road, uh, even areas, say, uh, closer to Boone's Mill Road, right along Highway 116, perhaps seeing a lighter shower. But uh, again, the heaviest rain with that cell seems to have diminished. For the day tomorrow, localized flooding is possible. It is going to be a wet, wet Saturday, especially from the late morning hours on. Sunday, likely going to be another wet day for us. We're going to have a series of fronts impacting us here over the weekend. By the time Monday rolls around, we're going to eventually turn much less humid, especially later in the day. But that doesn't mean we're fully dry on Monday. I still think we'll have the chance for a few lingering showers, maybe even a stray storm. So kind of just to summarize this weekend for you, each morning hit or miss rain showers possible. That's going to be your driest part of each day. As we head into the afternoon, as we head into the evening, that's where we're going to have more widespread rain. As I just told you, localized flooding will need to be monitored. And as we head into Sunday, depending on where a front sets up, uh, isolated, uh, strong to perhaps even borderline severe storms could potentially be possible. So as we look at the flood risks this weekend, the flash flood threat is either on the low to moderate end, the river flood, creeks, streams, rivers, that may need to be monitored a little bit more. I'm not necessarily worried about the Dan River or the Roanoke River or the James River. I'm looking at more of those tributaries to the rivers, low spots that may have the best chance to perhaps flood a little bit. I want to talk to you about graduation forecasts. Liberty University tomorrow, scattered showers 66. Ferrum, you're looking also at the chance for some passing showers. Uh, you're looking at temperatures around graduation time in the middle 60s as well. Looking ahead to Mother's Day, temperatures starting out in the upper 50s. By 5, we're looking at temperatures in the the middle 60s. Again, spotty showers early on Mother's Day. Better chances for rain, say, from lunchtime on. As we take a look at some Mother's Day stats for you, in 2018, <laughs> the high was 93. The coldest temperature we ever had on Mother's Day was 33, and the most rain we ever had was back in 1960, where we got close to an inch and a half of rain. We are looking at highs in the 60s this weekend, lower 70s Monday, 60s again Tuesday, 70s return Wednesday on. Honestly, next week looks to be much calmer. We're dry Tuesday and Wednesday with more sunshine and low humidity. Maybe a stray thunder shower on Thursday. We're dry again next Friday.